It's a handy bee. Give me another one. Where the other one at? Let's go. I've actually been playing for a long time. I know people think on TikTok that I just started playing Apex, but I've been playing since the game came out just on and off. It's just, it's a little bit more challenging with my disability. A lot of people don't understand how difficult it is to play with a controller with cerebral palsy. <laughs> it's not easy. I make it look easy. Do I have a big follow on TikTok? I just started doing videos like probably about a month ago and went from 300 to 1,000 followers and I got like 400K views on one video. Yeah, 400,000. Biggest thing is like, I don't let people dictate how I play. I just play how I play and what's comfortable to me. I do try new things. I do try to improve. I probably try to improve too much. It's probably like my biggest weakness. So does your CP I mean, I can, but it's it's a little bit more challenging for me to use mouse and keyboard. I guess the best way I can explain, or the easiest way I can tell you how to do CP is like, look it up or do exclamation point CP in the chat and I'll take you to the link. But like, it, it affects your motor skills. So my, my thing is like, I just want to be an inspiration to other people with disabilities and i want to make a way for other people with this because there's a lot of people with cerebral palsy that can't do what i do or they, they feel like they they can't do nothing or just people with disabilities in general that's that's my goal if i can make a you know make their day a better day or pave a way for them to like have a life where they're not just sitting at home and doing nothing because i mean that was me for the longest time a lot of people think i'm young i'm 36 years old about to be 37 i'm an old dude bro i got a wife and kids or a kid I should say not kids but that's the beautiful thing that i wanted to do i wanted an esports league to be for the disabled uh, logitech heard that and then you know now there's that uh adaptive esports tournament for rocket league in october that i'm going to be a part of which is pretty freaking sick got them let's go baby yeah i got a family yeah bro that's why i say people say oh i'm sorry you know what i'm saying i'm like sorry for what bro i live life just like everybody else, just I live it differently. It's like I'm part, like saying somebody's got a crappy life because they can't know how to swim. Well, just because somebody don't know how to swim don't mean they don't have a great life. Yo, three kills, four assists, three knocks, I'll take it. 1,041 damage, I'll take it. And so like you see like when I'm leaning over, people always joke about that. People always joke about that, right? But that's like my, sp that's my spastic cerebral palsy taking over. That's where like I get too tense and I start to fall over. So here's what happened. I was born three months early, right? Like I wasn't supposed to be able, I wasn't supposed to live past the age of four. I wasn't supposed to see, I wasn't supposed to be able to talk. I wasn't supposed to be able to use my hands. Well, we surpassed that. My mom figured out how to make my tongue muscles strong, try to blow bubbles with bubble gum. And then she said, well, I'm gonna get his hands open. Well, how she did that was that she would put an Atari controller in my hand two hours a day. And she'd have me go up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, two hours a day. Well, eventually my hands would start to open up, right? Well, as my hands started to open up, she started having me play Pac-Man two hours a day each and every day. As controllers progressed and video games progressed, my hands progressed. So now I have like 80% like use of my hands. I can fully open my hands. I can use my fingers. These last three here, these last three, like they don't move independently. Like y'all do, that's why I can't use mouse, uh, mouse and keyboard very well. My index and my thumb are the ones that really work really well independently the other ones kind of don't you can literally say gaming is the reason why i'm able to like do things part of the reason i have independence that's why i'm so thankful for gaming that's why i do what i do to get back to the gaming and to community because if it wasn't for gaming look at it like this if it wasn't for gaming i wouldn't be able to hold my daughter i wouldn't be able to go to the bathroom on my own i wouldn't be able to do all that yeah and they say video games are unhealthy now nah, video games like before twitch before youtube before all that but getting paid like literally video games literally physically changed my life like physically just one day you'll be able to do things open all your hands without difficult yeah like i i don't have difficulty opening them now 
It's just like the certain fingers don't move independently. See, like I can move both of them. There. I can even move my legs. I can do all that. I crawl around the house. The only time I'm in my wheelchair is when I'm on stream. Before I had this office and this gaming PC and I was streaming with my Xbox and my laptop, I was sitting on the floor playing video games and crawling. I crawl around on the floor. So yeah, I can use my hands pretty freaking well. See, I'm drinking coffee right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people with, with my disability, they can't talk, they can't drink on their own, they can't go to the bathroom on their own, they can't dress themselves, they can't do any of that. But fortunately, I'm blessed enough to be able to do that. And part of the reason of that is because of video games. I'm very blessed. And that's why I do gaming. That's why I do what I do. Especially with other people that have cerebral palsy. It, you know, it's, re it's irreversible to the age of eight. But a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that. My mom didn't know that. Back then, we didn't know that. Now we do. But that's all I'm here to, to be. And if I can get paid by doing it, hey, that's cool too. But that's not the main reason why I do it. Even if I wasn't streaming, I would still be gaming. I'm not one of those streamers that just started gaming to stream. Even if I wasn't streaming, I would be gaming. Like I will put in my at least my two hours of gaming until the day I die. Or until like somebody puts me in a nursing home when I'm like stupid old. But hopefully they better give me my video games. Gaming has been a part of my life since I was three years old. That's when they started my physical therapy with my hands, with video games. That's when my mom started. So I've been playing video games all the way up to three to 36 years old. I've been playing video games longer than a lot of you've been alive. I've seen I've seen a lot of things change. I've played every gaming system except for the 3DO and the Jaguar. Those are the only two gaming systems I've never played. I've played every single other one. I've almost owned every single gaming console except for the Sega CD and the Sega 32X L and the Jaguar and the 3DO. Those are the only four I've never owned. I, everything else. I've either owned or I had a roommate that had and I would game on that. I've been around in the gaming industry forever. I started streaming four years ago. Do you want your child to get in the the gaming world? Of course. That's the whole thing. Like, I would love to leave my daughter, if she wants to be, um, you know, a legacy to where, like, dang, she's Handy Kill Cam's daughter. You know what I mean? Like, if she wants to get in, if she wants to be... In esports, she can. You know, if she wants to be a game developer, she can. If she wants to, um, you know, do other things in gaming, uh, she can. Do you think society has changed in a better way for those who have your condition? So your similar condition? I think, I think it's changed better for people with my uh, condition. Um, and in the gaming world, full society, no society we're still looked weird upon you still get discriminated against you still there are certain things you can't do there's still certain places you can't go there's still certain places that are not handicap accessible there's still certain bathrooms that are complicated majority of public bathrooms i have to crawl on the floor because sometimes they don't fit wheelchairs now me myself i'm able to do that but what if somebody else had like a worse case of cerebral palsy than me right so with that said, with somebody that has a worse case of cerebral palsy than me, they would be pretty much screwed. Now in the gaming space, yes, um, you know, technology is advanced. You have the adaptive controllers. You have Logitech, who's uh, who I'm sponsored with. No hashtag ad, but you have Logitech, who is who is getting behind um, gamers with disabilities and getting. Um, you know, helping make, helping, supporting adaptive equipment and, you know, and all this stuff. Then you have the charity that I'm a part of that I work with called Able Gamers, hashtag no ad, um, that actually make the adaptive equipment and actually work with, um, you know, people like Xbox and all that to make the adaptive controller and stuff like that. Um, so in the gaming space, yes, but in the world it's a little bit more challenging i must be thankful for apps like grubhub and doordash yeah i am thankful for for uh apps like grubhub and doordash however 
I would have been more thankful for it when I was not married. Now my, I have my wife, you know, I've been married 10 years. So now my wife, not saying that she has to do that, but my wife normally takes care of all that. But yeah, if, back in the day, if Grubhub would have been like, bro, that would have been a game changer because I always hated depending on like random friends and random people. Like that's probably one of the hardest things to do with somebody with, dis with disabilities. Uh, yeah, no, my, my, my wife's my best friend. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. She's a big supporter of this. She's put more money in my career than her own career because she believes in what I'm doing because she knows that it's, it's not necessarily for the money. However, I would like to be, you know, where I'm super successful for one, so I can get off the government insurance and my wife can retire and she can just do what she wants to do. No, it, my favorite restaurant is not Logan's restaurant. <laughs> No, I hate Logan's with the passion. I will never go to Logan's ever again. Even if you give me a bottle of champagne, never, ever, ever again. They messed up the handicap stall there and it was disgusting. They said they cleaned it and then it wasn't clean. And then I ended up getting all wet and nasty. And I don't know what it is. Look, listen, able, able body people. If you are able to stand up and pee and you are able to wipe your butt very well don't need extra space and you don't need a transfer don't use the handicap stall and if you do use the handicap stall because you do love the amazing space please do me a favor make sure you clean it for somebody that is disabled that may have a hard time cleaning after you and maybe not want to touch your dirty dirty poo or your nasty pee or maybe you know maybe not want to have to because i do have to sit to pee you know what i'm saying i'm not ashamed to say that i do got to sit down to take a pee and guess what sometimes your pee is on my butt i do not like that if you sprinkle when you tinkle be a sweetie and wipe the CD. I mean, that was one thing. My wife didn't have to worry about us getting married. She didn't have to worry about me leaving the toilet seat up. How old is my child? My child just turned 10. A couple of days ago, actually. I haven't... Normally, I've been doing TikToks every day. But I've just been very picky on my clips. So I haven't been uh, posting. Everybody loves my squad wipes. TikTok loves my squad wipes. Whether it's because I got CP lobbies that people put in the comments or whatever, whatever the case may be, people love them. It don't matter. I'm gonna get haters regardless. I don't let I don't let the haters dictate on how I do. I just let the haters motivate me. If I ain't getting haters or love, then I'm not doing something right. If I'm getting nothing, if I'm getting nothing, then I'm doing something completely wrong. I that's why I learned not to really get mad at trolls anymore or whatever. Unless it's somebody that I know. If it's somebody I know come in here talking mess or negativity, I think that's what makes me tilted. Yeah, oh, I got, bro, I'm tatted for real. I got like seven tats. Well, I'm not tatted for real. I want more, but I got like a seven tats. I got a jail tat. Yeah, I've been locked up too. When I was younger, I was dumb when I was a kid, man. I was dumb. I was trying to be that cool kid. Like the, the Apex community can be pretty toxic. One of my goals in life though is to get, I won't say the first disabled person because now if somebody else has done it, Rocky No Hands is part of Luminosity, but I want to be like the second person with a disability, physical disability to be a part of an org. Actually, no, he's a, say he's the second, I'd be the third because um, Ewok is with um, FaZe. You should join FaZe too. I mean, it depends. I I'm down to join whoever really would give me like a solid opportunity and give me a, a fair enough shot as far as content or contract wise. Of course, I wouldn't be like an esports complete player. I would just be content. It should be pretty easy for you since your skills are on point. I mean, yeah, I appreciate that. For my situation, yeah. Because I don't see anybody, look, I, and I'm, I'm not trying, I'm just saying, I don't see anybody with gaming with cerebral palsy that can do what I can do. People don't know I have cerebral palsy. Optic, I mean, the problem with that though, I'm almost as old as Hex. You might think I'm coming for his job. And Hex is busy buying green companies, if you know what I'm saying, or making green companies. Like, I know another couple of people with cerebral palsy. Like, I know Tron, he, but he plays with his head. I was trying to help him get a win in Apex the other day. It's a little bit more challenging for him. Oh my god, I beamed him. I would like to get like a, a, a handicap squad, like a legit physical handicap squad, 
and destroy in GBs. And then like we do so well that esports has to like fund us to make it uh, like, and we have to compete against players like esports teams. I would love it. That would, ugh, bro. <laughs> I would love it, but I can't ever find like, I find the physical disabled people, but they don't like, they don't feel like they would be able to do it or they don't enjoy COD or it's always something people hear esports and they just like nah bro and i'm like yes bro give it to me because like that's the only sport like i can really always compete in you know like i was in special olympics when i was younger i won gold medals then but that's different i mean i liked it does it limit my physical fitness actually it makes me fit my upper body strength is crazy i could do handstand push-ups i'm pretty fit even though i eat like crap y'all inspire me to try harder just every day 36 result of changing my mindset thanks to you oh man thanks bro thanks for that comment some of the man some of the people over able gamers that stream over able gamers they inspire me bro they make me want to play games with my head all right with that said i am going to the brb screen